I guess because of the longevity of my career, uh, it's pretty hard to just pick one thing. Certainly a few championships along the way were very, very nice, but I think the biggest thing was just being able to work with the students uh, that I had, the athletes that I had on all my teams and see their development and being so excited, I guess, when I saw what I always call like the light bulb, when they got some new idea, a new concept or a new skill. It was always so refreshing to see that go on and know that they were still achieving. To say Sustal was an intense coach uh, has to be one of the world's greatest understatements. Um, Sue Stahl, if she didn't get on you today, you knew tomorrow was your day and it was coming. Um, she was an equal opportunity yeller um, and it was uh, always deserved and always designed to help you become a better player. Um, it wasn't about putting you down as a person, it was about lifting you up as a player. Um, someone once asked me how I could stand to play for someone that yelled so much. Um, and I said, because I know Sue Stahl's gonna make me the best player I can be. And she did. Well, I think I mostly uh, excited about just having the relationships that I had with the players. I think uh, getting them at an opportunity at an 18 year old and putting out a 21 year old uh, lady was exciting. I think uh, having student athletes who wanted to perform, who wanted to get better, who wanted to be part of the team made it more challenging for me to coach and more exciting for me to coach. I hope that they think that I was always uh, kind. I always had an open door. I was concerned about them, not just as student athletes, but as individuals. You were never too busy to have one, two, or all of your players in your office to talk about personal matters, academic worries, or huddle together around a tiny TV to watch ODU March Madness in the locker room, no matter small, no matter how small it was. While I enjoyed years playing and learning from you, I want to thank you for creating a love of the rules of the game, which I use today during my officiating. It was a great honor to also sit on the rules committee early in my post-college years while learning from you again. To watch your passion and understanding of the game, many discussions about rules and their impact on the game motivated me to do the same. I think I want them to uh, remember the fun times we had, the hard work they put in, the accomplishments that they did. Uh, they I hope that they think that I was fair, that I was not judgmental, that I was knowledgeable. Uh, very much, I know they will say I was demanding, but uh, that's all part of coaching. And they knew that before they came. Um, and I just think that uh, being a female and being a role model for them and having a female coach at the collegiate level was really key in their development. To me, if your players become coaches, it means that you did something right. You helped mold them and they found or still have a love of the game. And then those lessons and love get passed down. I was lucky enough to coach right beside Sue and it was priceless. Sue is a great and amazing mentor. I first met Sue when she recruited me um, in high school and even then before really knowing her, I knew she was a legend. You were a demanding coach and I love the way you brought out the best in your student athletes. You coach many athletes and I speak for them when I say, we all took what we learned into our own lives and even our coaching. You're positive and some might say, very intense contributions to the game will forever be remembered. I had the opportunity to work with you on your staff with the US Lacrosse program and I observed all of the creativity detail and effort you put into every practice and every game. You are the best and I'm excited to see you once again go into another Hall of Fame. Great job, Coach. My 1995 class, one of the best. Um, we'll never forget the things that we, we fought through, the things that you taught us, um, and mainly they were life lessons. I hope that I instill that in all of my players as a coach, and I know that I instill that upon my family and my children. So I am so proud of you. I am so proud to be a part of your 
culture, your group, your anything, anyone connected to you. Um, I am I'm so proud to be an alumni of Old Dominion University and an alumni of Sioux Stall. Well, I think to be recognized by your peers uh, is always honorable, and I so it's an honor for me to do that. Um, I'm looking forward to the November celebration. Uh, was around with the Philadelphia College coaches when we sort of helped establish the IWLCA. So it was constantly a member from its origin. And that makes it a little more special, I think, too. Um, and I guess if you stay in the game long enough, perhaps it will happen and, and it happens.